Hey everybody, so after last night, we officially know how to two-step, <laughs> but let's just say there's a lot of practice that's needed before we look even remotely graceful. So this morning started off with this, I was so excited, this was our first outdoor farmer's market of the season was this morning. And so what we had for breakfast was some baked oatmeal cups and some fruit. And so baked oatmeal cups is something that I love to have on hand. I even keep them in the freezer um, for those times where I've either forgotten to do overnight oatmeal for a quick and easy breakfast, or it's just, it's just so simple and easy that we can just grab them, warm them up in the microwave and have a super fast breakfast. So that's what we did for breakfast. Then we went to the farmer's market and we, now there wasn't a lot there because obviously it's the first of March, but we got some grass fed beef and we got some microgreens and we got some salad mix and not pictured was also some eggs. Um, so then for lunch, we just roasted some veggies and remember how we did the homemade pizza the other day. So I had a little bit of basil left over from our cooking demo this week. So I combined it with some kale and made some homemade pesto. So this time we used the homemade pesto as the pizza sauce. And then we topped it with some roasted veggies and we even threw some microgreens on there and then just had a salad with, we had a blood orange and some nuts and a little bit of jicama. So we threw that together for lunch. And then for dinner tonight, so another thing that I love to have on hand in the freezer is homemade turkey sausage. And the reason we love it is because we know what's in it, we know all the ingredients, it tastes delicious, and we can use it for so many things. And so basically I just take ground turkey and I add some seasonings. It's two pounds of ground turkey. I add some seasonings, I add a little bit of oil and some natural applesauce. And you mix it up and I just form them into patties, put them in parchment paper and leave them in the freezer. And that way I can just grab little bits at a time and thaw them out real quick and use them. So it just makes life so much simpler. So tonight we added a little bit of that homemade turkey sausage to a pasta sauce that, this is one of our favorites. It We call it the Lydia's inspired pasta sauce. Um, one of our favorite restaurants in Kansas City is Lydia's and fantastic Italian restaurant. So we wanted to have a cozy, Saturday night um, meal at home because let's be honest, it's been a busy week and we're tired. And so we wanted to have a coffee meal at home, maybe a movie night. So we, tonight we had a little bit of pasta, also cooked some spaghetti squash, did the pasta sauce. And for those of you that have never used a microplane zester, you can take a little Parmesan and zest it over. Um, it just, it's perfect because it's finely grated and we also threw a little on the salad. Salad just includes leftover roasted veggies, some pickled veggies. We've got a homemade dressing again. And then of course we had to roast vegetables <laughs> and we've got mushrooms and asparagus. And then for dessert tonight, we made our apple cinnamon bunt cake. And I didn't even make it in a bunt pan because I just made it in a nine by 13 because I knew it would be easier to cut it up and freeze half of it but that's going to be dessert tonight because that reminds me of my mom and grandma. So I hope you're all having a great weekend and we'll see you tomorrow.